after a very exhausting weekend, yes. the party continues. And this time... It's at Universal Studios! So, I mean, we are here super early. We paid for the premium parking, which is cool, because you don't have to go through City Walk, which is like, exit through the gift shop, except it's like, enter through the restaurants. Through the gift shop. Yep. So, like, we, we bypassed all that, came through security, and now we're at Universal Studios, so let's go do that. We got in early because uh, one of us in the group works for Comcast. So that's exciting. Because we weren't supposed to get in early. You know how to treat their employees here. Ah, the old Universal sign. Haven't seen you since I was a wee one. So this is my first time at Universal Studios Hollywood. I've been to the one in Orlando but I'm really excited to see how the you know, Hollywood version is. It is my third time coming to Universal Studios. In fact, Travis and I came here many years ago. Many years ago, we did the whole VIP thing. We were walking around like Wayne and Gar, jumping all the lines, and that was that was Worth a it. lot of fun. But now it's like 400 bucks. Yeah, we went like 150, maybe 200. It was 150, I believe. Yeah. But now too rich for our blood. Actually, it was 200 But either way, you know what? We'll wait. For $400, we've waited in line quite a bit this weekend. <laughs> What's a little bit more? Right. We're so gonna find I, out. we're going to head over to the Wizarding World first. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Uh. Butterbeer just chilling out here for everyone. We're gonna save for that for later, but we are gonna get ourselves uh, to Ollivander's because I gotta get my wand first. That's what you do, right, before you go to Hogwarts? Oh, it's beautiful. Look at him. I've done my waiting 12 years of it in Azkaban. Well, to all of our lives. Makers of fine wool since 382. Wave your wound very gently, and I want you to say, Argument. Argument. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Apparently, that is not your fault, my dear. However. <laughs> Something brought you guys all over here at the same time. I'm not gonna lie, the door knocked and it kind of scared me. <laughs> yes, madam. Red. This one's sticking out. Is there a wrong? No, that's that scary. Is wrong, but that is scary. Which ones are the ones that do the magic? <laughs> All of them? No. <laughs> and Fedora and Professor Lupin. I kind of like Professor Flitwick's. Kind of looks like a broom or a stem. Slughorns is pretty sweet too. Best 
of defense against the Dark Arts teaching? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to say uh, Lockhart is the best. What about Mad Eye Moody? Um, well, it depends. We never really got to know the real Mad Eye Moody, so I can't really speak for his credentials. But that uh, that Lockhart, I think that is where the money's at. Oh, the lighting here. You're glistening. I think I'm gonna get myself another one. It's scary though. But it brings life and death. I'm sure I'm easily affected by emotions. And it brings the elderly to Country Kitchen Buffet. They like, have good stories. All right then, Travis has picked his and his I has did, picked him. I, yeah, I don't care. No, you guys picked each other. It's a symbiote relationship. Out first. Oh, the first one, your first instinct, huh? Is that it? Is it gold? Does that look gold to you? Gold member! You got the Midas touch. Touch it too much. Oh. Oh. Actually, stand back a little bit. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the right one. We have a winner. Hit that one head. You gotta start doing some magic. They said you need to practice. Practice your wand. Am I the only one that didn't get a wand? Yeah. Because I prefer a sonic screwdriver. You muggle. Doesn't work on wood though. Unless right, it's like a thousand years. And here we go. Gonna have to worry about the copyright strike, so I'll sing instead of their songs. That's one thing about Universal that I like versus Disney is the uh, adequate uh, availability of lockers everywhere. This is like a speed run through the dungeons of Hogwarts. You see, we are going through the, the grounds of Hogwarts. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of lines that look like we're going through Herbology. Herbology! With the name like Sprouts, you're pretty much destined for being typecasted as a herbology teacher. Funny enough, her, uh, Professor Sprout is the head of Hufflepuff House. So, yeah. Right up my alley. So it's funny because like, since we got in early, we're definitely on a speed run through Hogwarts. We've missed all the pre-shows and we're just flying through. And here we go. See you on the other side. Before we got into the ride, I was really excited to see what these guys think because I wrote it already in, at Universal Orlando. So I want to know what you guys think because well, it's still off. <laughs> just like you know, we at home we watch the YouTube videos, but you don't get the full experience until you ride and get the full experience. I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. For me, uh, yeah, it did make me nauseous. I don't know if it's just because I'm really tired, only got a couple hours of sleep last night. Uh, it made me nauseous. Okay, good. So, yeah, it made me nauseous. It did make me nauseous. I'll go on that all day. Yeah, and that's the thing, though. What I loved about it, the practical effects, the movement. Uh, there was one part, like, where the Whomping Willow comes and swings at you and it like tilts your back and my hat started falling off. Um, it was that, uh, really putting in that simulator aspect with practical all over the place. Scary too, especially with the Dementors coming out. I jumped actually at one of them, one of them got me. I should have had my wand or else you, they would have gone away. Just that, you know what, even a first year can't handle a Dementor, so that's why you gotta leave it to Harry. But either way, I mean, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot of fun. I'd do it again. I could, I'm could. i so glad they did take away the 3D because I would have been really messed up if that were the case. So uh, on to the next, to the which next I believe ride. is Flight of the Hippogriff. Yes. 
Let's go. You need, as a bigger guy, I kind of like that they have like the test chairs uh, because I don't want to get denied up there and be fat in front of everyone. All right, well, Bobby and Vanessa go ride the flight of the... I'm gonna try butterbeer for the first time. That guy probably hates his life. Just, he can't even roll it down the street. It's cobblestone everywhere. So we just got off of Flight of the Hippogriff. And Buckbeak, Buckbeak, Buckbeak is our buddy. Sure is, it was cute. It's like, it's like if you've ever been to Disneyland, it's like the Go-Go Gadget coaster, so. Short, sweet, we got on real quick, we got off real quick. Uh, I'm so confused as to if we saved him or not. I assume we saved Buckbeak. Yeah, we did. Or if that's even the point, you're just flying with Buckbeak? You're just flying with Buckbeak, I think is what it is. That's why it's called the plate of the Hippogriff. Ah, but I love seeing Hagrid's house, and I love seeing uh, the, the Scarecrow. Yeah, the jack-o'-lanterns, it's a lot of fun, so. But again, it's quick and it just goes really fast in a, you know, a, a circle two ways. And I just realized something in between these guys. Did you get your one? The water is frozen right here. That's actually, uh, that's kind of cool. The theming in this place. How much was that? Such a good job. Two things, I just used the restroom here in the Wizarding World. Uh, yeah, so Moaning Myrtle, first of all, just talks trash to you the entire time you're in there. Which, you know, I need a little encouragement when I'm in the bathroom. And the second thing, it doesn't send you to the Ministry of Magic. I need to dry off. I like the theming though. Definitely good theming. Even in the restroom. So good. But we're not gonna spend the entire morning in the Wizarding World as magical and whimsical it is. We have, we have other pressing matters to attend to. First off, <laughs> butterbeer. That would probably be useful for me to buy something. You need your money. You I need, need my money. You need your gold. Yeah. Because Vanessa's getting her butterbeer. I'm about to get my butterbeer. That she's been talking about like crazy for like the last six months. Yep. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. I got my butter beer. Delicious. I'm not a fan of butterscotch. <laughs> so the way that this Gudger Gryffindor looks here, freaking Hugo Weaving can totally play him in a Harry Potter movie. I'm just saying if that's where they want to go with it, Hugo Weaving. Am I right? Hugo Weaving. I could see it. I could see it, yeah. 14 bucks. Oh, I could see it. The second pressing matter, the studio tour. The studio tour does get a pretty long line, so we are gonna head there now. And Hook is playing. Come on. I mean, this is the place for us. Disneyland isn't everything. No, they, it is. But Universal, we love you too. Did we just step into Springfield? I believe we just stepped into Springfield. Oh. This is happening later. Oh, that sideshow Bobby's always up to something. When the weight of the world has got you down and you want to end your life. Bills to pay, a dead end job, and problems with the wife. This makes me sad a little though, because like I miss Back to the Future so much, but it, it's nice that the whole area is themed where it would have made more sense for Back to the Future to have like Hill Valley here, a replica of Hill Valley. That would have been cool. Sorry to interrupt, but there's no wait for the studio tour. We gotta go. No wait for the studio tour. Come on. And, and more than likely the purse the person running it is a little more energetic because they didn't have to say the same thing 20 times. I love it because they could just play like songs in the key of Springfield and symphonic with the Simpsons and they got their uh, house music done. What's smog? I reckon it's a small hog. If you have a camera out, you can at least get a picture of your wand as it flies into the bushes. 
Nice guy. He gets to sit there and just uh, spout the rules off forever. We are about to embark on a journey to Hollywood. I have beer, butter, beer, and toll. Let's get to it. Hollywood. We have made over 8,000 movies. Really incredible. Here's a little challenge for you. Gonna kick things off. Here we go. Trivia. Classic film this scene is from. Oh, dang it, classics. It is not Yeah, so we may not be able to get to Universal Florida for Kong, but we got a little slice of them here. They have a T-Rex. The gorilla still looks fake. Night Rider. And kids, if you don't know what that is, just trust me, it's cool. Bum, ba -da -da, bum, ba -da -da. 600 bucks! After the kick car, you will see a red Ferrari. It was horse shit, Biff. Yeah. Look at them cobwebs. At least it has a canopy now. Oh, the gyrosphere making a return to Jurassic World. Yeah, Transformers? Okay, never mind. Close to that has occurred. It's totally worth it. Just keep your guard up. To your left, this is the bowl lap, a lost world Jurassic Park. Peter Stormare sat in that car. I'm gonna run you over when I come back down. <laughs> That's nice. Gotta go. It's time to talk over a copyrighted music by John Williams. One of the disadvantages of sitting in the front car, we don't get to see the water coming. Water headed right for us. Yeah, we're from Tucson. Flash floods is a normal Tuesday. There's the mission down there from Arrested Development. Remember Fast and Furious? Oh, here's the VIP people. Hey, bye guys. We were you once. We were you once. This production to ever take place on our lot. To utilize 10 sound stages in a large outdoor portion of our back lot, as well as 1,930 birds. It's really an ill repair. All the rear windows and each of them cost them over $200,000 just to ship it here. Always yeah. shipping and handling. It'll just and they wasted it on the War of the Worlds. You think with the purchase at large, you qualify yeah. for free we, shipping. We or it VIP might have been worth just waiting memories. until Friday. We got to walk around down there. Pretty cool. That was the best use out of it. That's not Hobbs, that's The Rock. Ruthless as they come. He'll stop at nothing to eliminate his That's not The Rock, that's Dwayne Johnson. Come on. That was fast. They say the bigger the family, the stronger it is. Sitting in the front, sitting in the last row, or last cart, or the front cart. You don't really get the full action that happens when they do the little stunts and stuff. So you're constantly looking back, uh, but whatever, I mean, it's it's a studio tour, you just, you have to do it. Fast and Furious, meh. Kong Skull Island, I miss the monkey. I know he's not a monkey, he's an ape. Uh, but uh, who needs the quickie mark? I do. So just use the bathrooms in the Simpsons section uh, of Springfield. And uh, yeah, the, the Wizarding World kind of set the bar for thematic bathrooms. Yeah, theirs was just very blue. 
So, sorry, nope, I guess the bathroom reviews have kind of come to a screeching halt. I think Travis is hitting up a donut shop, Lardland. I don't know where it is though, but. What do you think? You should buy this, take it to the gym with me all the time. That's my water bottle. I think it works. Lard Light Donuts. I think you're gonna have a lot of people drooling while they're running on the treadmill next to you. Yeah, probably. $16.99? I mean, the nice thing is it's a dollar refills all day, but I don't know. I mean, I, I, I could carry that around. Your donuts make me go nuts. Ooh, the ground is padded. That's nice. Oh. Uh. There you go, yeah. My turn. Oh no! You and Vanessa are fairly close. It's ugly in here with the yellow canopy. We're at Fountain Bark on Pussy Land. Vanessa has ridden this before. I have. At Universal Orlando. So Vanessa, yeah, you never rode Back to the Future? No, I didn't. Unfortunately, I wish. You know what? It could be that I'm just nostalgic, but it was amazing. I love the Back to the Future ride. But my love for Back to the Future obviously weighs a bias on it. But I do like The Simpsons too, but I just haven't watched it in a decade. We shall see. So obviously, the donut was a smashing shikshesh. That's the Homer Simpson look that you want. So I had some of the donut. I'm not a huge sweets fan. And if I do eat a donut, it's typically only glaze. The nice thing about that is there's plenty of glaze underneath the frosting. So I enjoyed it. It was a, a pretty tasty donut. It's time to I just saw the Back to the Future reference on the screens for the Simpsons ride. That makes me even more sad. But I love that they incorporated it into the lore of the Simpsons ride. One cue to another. Hey, hey, it's me, Krusty! I get a poo and Krusty Crab. I don't know why I said Krusty Crab. That's obviously not right. An old man moles. This is where you used to see the pre-show from Doc Brown getting locked in the cage and Biff stealing the DeLorean. Screen door on a submarine, you dork. The Simpsons ride. Now, I think if you are a fan of The Simpsons and you know a lot of the characters, when they do pop up, it feels a little bit more uh, as a, you know, a, a, a play to my childhood. So like when Ralph pops, pops up, Otto pops up, to me I get a little kick when they show up. For you, you're not so much a Simpsons fan, but you have ridden it before. And what did you think? This time. Yeah. Pretty much sums it up. I got a head, I like, just looking up, I was just like, my head hurt, and like, now I have a headache. I noticed that too, my neck was a little sore from it. It's a bit jarring. I grew up watching The Simpsons, but I love The Simpsons. I didn't like the ride. Didn't I got like to the ride. end, I was like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing, I think that's the, the picture here, everyone's just like... Simulators have kind of gone the way of the dodo because there's new simulators that are adding in the practical and the simulation as well, like uh, the Harry Potter ride. And then uh, Transformers also, I know, does that too. So, uh, I don't it, it wasn't my cup of tea, but no, that, it had to be done. Now I want to take a picture with Homer. Homer Simpson's next. Nice to meet you, homie. The one true homie, that's for sure. Awesome, thank you. So as a very long time Simpsons fan, both of you, what did you guys think of the ride? Honest opinion. Fun, it was definitely fun. 
Was it Simpsons experience? Sure. But the 3D kind of always made me think of Treehouse of Horrors when I see them in 3D. 2D would have been kind of cool, but I still had fun. Graphics aren't that great, but it was cool. the experience. Well, at least the escalators are working because this is crazy. Yeah, your first time you've never seen the massive escalator trip it takes to get from top to bottom. Yeah. Oh my god, more escalators! I don't want to see him, he's scary. No, 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 he's a friendly wacko. He's not hurting anybody. No, he's gonna eat me. He's not eat you. Again, another 3D ride. I mean, it would be okay if I had my contacts, but I broke them, so I gotta wear my glasses, unfortunately. There's nothing wrong with wearing glasses, but when it has to do with 3D, I don't like putting the glasses on top of my 3D glasses, and it's just... And this is a first for all of us because none of us have ridden the Transformers ride and none of us have seen the new Transformers movie. So there's a lot of firsts here. Yeah. Or at least one. We're riding the ride. Mm. Smells like Lysol in here. Are you sure this room is sanitary? The universe is so surviving crime. It smells like Lysol. It does smell. But it smells like a good Lysol. So. Oh, I should have said that back there. But it did? Echo! Echo! Whoa! Whoa! It's nice and chilly in here, so that's good. Yeah, and not all the fans are even on. That one. Don't press it. Don't press it. <gasps> yeah, come on, push your button. Oh, God. God, it's not working. oh he's gonna yell at you. Oh wait, that's 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 just a light. Never mind. No. Guys, you don't work with them. You're a guest. <laughs> this is like an OCD nightmare. Yeah. Get him out! <laughs> oh, except for that one, you can just look at that one. Kinda, or that one. Oh, that one's perfect. Cat 9? Cat 9 over here? Oh, this one's nice. It's red versus red, and blue versus blue. It's I against I and me against you. Pom pom, pom pom, pom pom. Pom pom, pom pom, pom pom. I don't know about the rest of you guys. I like it. I had fun. I did. That was kind of better than the Simpsons. Yeah, much better than the Simpsons ride. Obviously, two different beasts, but that's kind of where the future is now. Is it comes down to uh, practical mixed in with 3D. Yes, exactly. I'm enjoying how they're doing that. It's very, it's different. You don't see that too much in the Disney parks yet. Right. Uh, they're starting to catch up, but yeah, uh, Universal's always done that pretty well. Um, now. The cool thing about like the motion of this ride what did you was think that when it comes to like the actual maneuvering of the vehicle, like I like the squealing and then the, the the drifting. It just it felt it felt natural. Something about it it didn't feel jarring to me when he would you know go backwards, forwards, frontwards, and sideways, and upways and outways. But. All in all, uh, I, like I, I enjoyed Spider -Man it. Spider-Man ride better than Islands of Adventure. Right. It's always the same thing. Right. Uh, same mechanics. 3D got to me because I don't like wearing 3D over my glasses, so it was just shifting a lot. The 3D I could do without, but I understand. It's kind of a big deal. Yeah. Next up, O'Connell. Travis and I had VIP passes, like we said, and we rode the mummy like five times because the VIP passes they get to go in through here and then go all the way up and skip the line and the line here gets pretty bad yeah. but that means also I've never seen the actual queue for the mummy as many times as we have ridden it ah <laughs> uh, the book of the dead the book of the living if the book of the life gives it the Book of the Dead takes it away. No, it's the Book of the Dead that takes it away, and I think it's the Book of the Dead that gives it away. Well, then how come they needed the Gold Book to resurrect uh, Anaxu Namun? Oh, maybe. The Book of the Dead brings him back. 
But he's incomplete, but he needs the gold book to uh, resurrect her. This is what we do, we talk about the mummy. I love the mummy. I do too. This fully armed and operational sarcophagus. Okay, so Kendra, <laughs> that was your first time riding the mummy. It was. What'd you think? I loved it. It was a lot of fun. I laughed the whole time. It, it kind of reminds me of like a cross between uh, Space Mountain and then the Aerosmith. What does it get him to the pavilion? Get him to the show on time? I don't yeah, know. I remember what it's called. The Rock and Roller Coaster. Uh, but mummy centric. And yeah, they did remove Brendan Fraser from all aspects, which I get it. I understand. It's been a long time, but I still miss. Oh, that's sad. I yeah, but with the success of uh, the new movie, I mean, you have to take it all. <laughs> I know, right? Because Tom Cruise was all over that thing. So <laughs> Vanessa was kind of caught off guard with the yeah. photo. The photo, I forgot they took a photo. And um, this is a lot different than the one in Orlando, oh, as far it? as I remember. Really? Yeah. That's cool. But we do get, they I, I, they still had the Brendan Fraser. I don't know if they took it out of that one in Orlando, but they still had it when I went. Either way, getting reintroduced to the mummy, a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. it I want to go home and watch the mummy. A Rick Roaring thrill ride, so. I it. Simple, less is more. Humans cannot even operate basic technology. How primitive. Tell me, young one, have you seen Optimus Prime? Wait, where? Where did you see him? Right here? Is that what you were telling me? That he was out at this exact place? Are you certain about this girl? Very well then, we will go to the coordinates of this place you said. You better hope he is there, otherwise you will answer to me. Now turn around and stand tall. Let's hope your intelligence checks out. Where I really like the improv her? nature of You're Megatron. Lord, how he basically just improvises Not with everybody who walks up to him. So it's Come. fun to just sit there and watch and have him bash people. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Uh, you do got dinosaurs in this uh, dinosaur park, huh? Hello? So Vanessa, your first trip down uh, Jurassic Park, the ride. We so happened to be in the front row. Front row. And I didn't want that, but the people behind us, or in front of us, that were supposed to be in the front row, were like, just kidding, I'm gonna be in the second row. And so we got front row, and now I'm all freaking drenched. At least I had my hair tied back, but other than that, it was really fun. As is the rest of us. Completely soaked, it was a wall of water, especially Although when there, we hit the bottom. There was some things on the right that were broken. Yeah, okay, so let's talk about that. Yeah. So many things on the Jurassic Park ride were broken. So you had the car no longer falls down from the dam. Yeah, a little disappointed. And then before when you're going up the ramp, the rafters would pop down, maybe one, two, or three, I don't remember. Yeah. There was only one that was like stuck outwards, sticking out of the vent, and uh, didn't uh, move at all. So kind of, uh, kind of sad. It's, I mean, granted, it's been out for such a long time, but upkeep. You don't, you don't see that in you know other parts. So. But you see it worse in some of the other parts as well. So uh, it's, it's kind of middle of the road. Obviously, they're paying more attention to their big new high volume attractions like Transformers and Harry Potter, which I'm so glad we got that Harry Potter ride out of the way because now it's up to... 120 minutes. 120 minutes. And we waited, what, five yeah. to get on this morning? Yeah. So, I mean... We're kind of sad because we got to the queue and we not really stop it look at it. But, uh, spreading. Yeah. But we conquered the bottom 
part of the park, and I wish Backdraft was here so we could dry off. But it's not even one o'clock. Nope. So now we are going to head up and see what which damage we can do in the top part. But of course, we've got like another whole escalator to go up. So next on the agenda, The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead walking through the dead walking. Whenever I see bullet holes, I think of uh, Christopher Lloyd and Clue when he's like, here! And he's like, Ugh. Look, there's a bullet hole here in the wall. See that? Get him a body bag. <laughs> the time's now. Can't film, so we turn it off now. You bit? You bit? <laughs> you bit? Okay, so it's cool because we don't get to be here for Halloween for Hollywood Horror Nights. So it's just getting a little taste of it. Granted, it's very tame and there's constantly a flow of people. So unless you're the one that happens to be by the door that I saw Vanessa had happened to her, right by the door when they come running out and you yeah. didn't know they were there, which is rare, you're not really going to get a scare. Dr. Who's? Seuss? Dr. Who's? Um, it's, a, it's a no for me. I'm sorry. I... Your blood. Blah, blah, blah. Now, could it be though because it does, like these kinds of things don't scare you? Because I'm the same way. Well, I felt like the characters, I mean, every zombie that pops out, you had one of their security guards or... Standing right there. next to them. I mean, yeah. really have them play it up too, you know? Go, you gotta go! There was you one, know? though, I knew he was there, but I didn't know when he was gonna come out, and that kind of stalled me for a second. For me, I was looking. Like, when they would come up close to me, I was looking at the makeup, I was looking at the clothing, I was looking at all the, the practical effects that they put into it nice. so Whoa, for that, that it's for that it's hollywood you know you movie know magic right in front of I'm you i'm gonna Woo. stick to our local old tucson studios and their nightfall i think it's fun just as good if not better but that's a whole atmosphere of halloween which i think Grand, if, if we came for halloween horror nights probably way better obviously way better but all in all to get out of the sun and cool down it's a fun little way you're constantly walking through literally walking dead uh from the line outside to inside there's very little time where you wait and do nothing so all in all fun but i don't need to do it again it's sponge bubble we'll be the judge of that obviously you know where we are minion mayhem madness misogyny i don't know we are going in and uh, doing our fourth or fifth 3D ride. So we shall see how it turns out. Or neck condition, abnormal blood pressure, or those prone to motion sickness or dizziness are advised not to ride this attraction. Exit through the gift shop and the treat shop. Just surprised it's not a big banana stand. There's always money in the banana stand. Ah, you're funny. So Minions, uh, another 3D simulator, but I would say, if anything, it's the best Captain EO, Honey I Shrunk, the audience style of ride. You can see the other cars. So, it, yeah, with the other cars that are in front of you, it's kind of like Back to the Future, where if you just look around and see all the other cars, it kind of throws it off. All in all, it was fine. The kids liked it. The people that were next to us really enjoyed it. Um, 50 minutes. Good thing we didn't have to wait 50 minutes. It was much less than that. 30? Yeah. But either way, Minions. See, I was, I was more watching it and like laughing at the minions and what they were doing and saying and then every once in a while i'd realize i was being thrown forward and then hitting back really hard so you know simulator huh 3d glasses huh but it was funny to watch the minions get into uh it's kind of like the what's the, the the game the minion game where they're running it's kind of like temple run i have no idea minion run i think so i think it's minion run basically it's just a simulated minion run which was fine, I guess. However, I do like that in this land outside of the Minion Mayhem, the Minions are singing the songs and they're, you know, like they just sang I Swear by Boys to Men and now they're doing YMCA. 
by the village people, so I think, yeah, it's funny. They got it. 88 miles per hour! Here we go, here I am, Uncle Mo. Thank you, ma'am. This should be a treat. Here I am, Uncle Mo, why you eat? Could you take the basket off my head, please? The fries are extremely hot. How's the world treating you, Mr. Gumble? <laughs> All right, Vanessa. Casanova. You hear that, Barney? Watch out. It's a Casanova. You can drink your misery away at Flaming Moe's. Let's all go to Flaming with liquor in a mug. Can warm you like a hug. And happiness is just a Flaming Moe away. Happiness is just a Flaming Moe away. So I got myself a Dove beer, straight from Springfield. Oh yeah. So Vanessa's finally been able to crack open her wand. Yeah, and then, so this wand is very uh, interactive. So when we go, I can do like wand stuff. And it tells me like where the wand, like where you can go to do all the interactive stuff on this map. So that's cool. That's plain. Ah, uh, Homer, I'm surprised you didn't leave a little bird pushing a button. Speaking of which, Very interesting. Probably got to get annoying for the people at the table right next to it. Some yokels never eat a crow, but then again, some yokel likely it is a slack jawed yokel. Hey, what's going on on this side? We found our way back to the wizarding world inside Honey Dukes. We're looking for a certain train conductor today. Heard he's in at four o'clock. But we will waste a little bit of time until he shows. Like little green guys crawling all over him. Chocolate wand. This one chooses me. Nope. Dark chocolate? Sorry. You're wrong, Juan. Chocolate frog? I think we found one. The dead giveaway is the line. <laughs> Stop that writing. <laughs> First try, too. It's funny having Vanessa studying her spells before she uses them. There we go. Oh, rest so momentum. There we go. Congratulations. <laughs> Yay! That was a tough one, Vanessa. Yeah, that one was pretty tough. I can't. All I didn't even. Them in the first try for all honestly, though, so like you're doing all these spells. I don't see really anything happening other than the writing quill, like stopping. Well, the other thing, it moved the thing in the back, like the tray of treats. I didn't that see that. Moved. I during didn't all see the. I didn't see it at a party. Late to the party? No, you're you're thinking of. Uh, John Roca, because he was supposed to be here at four. He ain't there. He ain't there. He's we late. We probably started this. work at four. You know, I gotta get, I gotta get your stuff on. We've been, been doing all of the. His brother, the outlaw, probably held him up. He needs to come and uh, join the party. 
He's quite the nice guy. Hello. Hello, sir, Mr. Conductor. Hey. Hi. Do you mind if we uh, is this? film this? Something it's a con contraption to capture light. Yeah, it's amazing what you might do with technology. We've got a Hufflepuff here. Oh. We oh. just got her wand. Oh. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. What wand is that? What a willow. Yes. Does that feel right for you? Yes. All right. Looks good. There's this powerful spells and charms. Yes. There's this uh, oil. What's this renegade roaming around the land? What? Goes by the name the Outlaw. Well, I don't know him, sir. No. He sounds like a bad guy. He's a bad guy. Yeah, I wouldn't be around him, sir. But you know where we came against his wishes and got her her wand? What? Did she get chosen? She did not get chosen, well, unfortunately. It's uh, well, you're in the wrong room. You're in the wrong wizard, probably. Okay. probably. Yeah, yeah. How was your day? Oh, it's very busy. Yes. Very busy, busy weekend, busy, busy day as well. We knocked out the whole party oh, just for two hours. Right on. We've been waiting around here for a conductor that uh, well, fit our thing. Well, that's very kind of you. Stop yeah. by and say hello. Absolutely. Oh, you want to take a picture? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to book. Just a, I'm just a conductor, sir. Just a conductor. Yeah, just a conductor. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. What's your name? My name is Robert. Robert? Oh, yes, nice to meet you. You're Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. Very nice, nice to meet you. Too. Appreciate your time. Oh, my pleasure. Who is that? Travis. Hello, Travis. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. I look forward to it. I look forward to it. So, the conductor. <laughs> it looks like him, but it's not him. It looks like And you know what's so hard? to not adopt an accent when you're talking to somebody who's using an accent. Yeah, because the whole time I wanted to talk like I was <laughs> there, but I, I was like, ah! See, that's one of my things is that when I hear, like, when I talk to people who have, like, certain accents, I'll start to pick up their accent. Right. And do a terrible job at trying, like, not to say, do it. And I'm not trying to, like, make fun of it. It's just that you sort of kind of have to. Well, that conductor, was quite a smashing guy. Yes. Very nice guy. So nice. So we appreciate his kindness. Yes. And again, like I told him, hope to run into him again in another life. Yeah. So you can't come to Universal Studios and not watch Waterworld. No. You were, uh, you were, you were, you were talking. We were talking about how Waterworld has been here forever. So long, it was Miami Vice, and then it became Waterworld, and it's been like that forever. Even though it was a bomb, I don't know what all the fuss was. I saw that movie nine times. It ruled. I've seen bits of this. That's the thing is that uh, Vanessa's completely uh, new. She's a noob to the world of Waterworld. Have you ever seen paper? How much for the wheel? But have an arm, have an arm, have yeah, it's it's become a staple of universe, so we're fairly close. Splash zone is only two ahead of us. We figured we got wet enough on Jurassic Park, that's what she said. Uh, that it would be okay if we sat a little bit back and maybe we'll get a little something, but That's a heavy bucket of water, man. You should drop that.
civilization may start anew on dry land, while the mariner rules the four points of the compass on the end of the seas of Hollywood. So I want your honest opinion about Waterworld. It was a fun show. I liked it. Yeah. I enjoyed it very much. I do like those type of shows anyway. So like when we go. I'm trying to think of the last show that I saw that was kind of like that. Did you ever see Indiana Jones and Disney World? No, I've never been to Disney World. What? You've never been? I've never been either. But yeah, the, the spectacular shows, I remember when I was a kid and I saw the Miami Vice one that used to be there before, like I was throwing myself off couches, I was pretending to fly through glass and like it really struck with me as a kid. I mean, I really like, like we have this place called the Old Tucson that where we live. Right. And they do kind of shows like that. So I do enjoy when they like shoot them and then they fall from very high up. And it's just entertaining. <laughs> and it's funny because before I've never really heard them say where all the cast is from like TV show wise, so it's cool that they kind of say, you know, American Horror Story, uh, CSI New York, like all these people are from different shows. So it's kind of shows And some of them did movies too, like they said Transformers, Power Rangers, uh, SS, or right. some of the Syndicate, SS right. 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 Uh, uh, Yeah. So uh, it's, it's cool that yeah. uh, it's still going strong. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm glad you liked it because it's a fun stunt show, so we're gonna find Dinner now. Three brooms yes. it is? Yes, three brooms six. Three brooms. Sticks. Yes. Three brooms sticks. 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 <laughs> I think and I said dicks. Oh, sticks. Three brooms. Sounded like dicks. I meant sticks. Sticks. Yeah, let's Stone. go get food. Oh, here we go. We got ourselves a feast to go in. That's not what we got, Fingers and mash. but I got the shepherd's pie with the salad and ranch. I had a salad earlier today and it had like Dijonese mustard, which was fine, but you know what? Sometimes you just gotta go classic. And then you got lemon herb chicken. Yeah, it's a lemon herb chicken with potato and corn. It's the herb, lemon herb thing. It's right. mystery sauce. So this is the first time I've ever gotten the frozen butter beer. I have always gotten the regular butter beer. So let's dig into it. Tastes good. Tastes like butter beer but frozen. So I've never had butter beer in my life. I'm not a big fan of butter scotch. So let's try this. I don't like butter beer, or I don't like butterscotch. Well, I like that, that's pretty good. Yeah. Maybe I'll get another refill and I'll do the regular and you can try the regular. Yeah. We, got, we got time. But yeah, pretty tasty. I don't know if I would want to drink a whole thing of it though, that's the thing, like one taste and I, again, me with sweets. One and done. Yeah, sip, okay, I've done it. Moving on. All right. Is there a nap area? I'd say that was a success. I use antlers and all of my decorating. Oh, wrong studio. Incendio. Woo! Fire. I got, I got fire. Lumos. Oh, dang. Just saying. Incendio. The Sith Lord will always win. No, I don't think so. So doing the uh, Harry Potter. Uh, a single riders line. Single riders. Let's see how quick and uh, hopefully we don't get sick. Yeah. Well, at least I don't get sick. Single riders. Hell of fast. Good that time. Is... So if you're okay with not being with your party on a ride, single riders is good. And the thing is, is like you make friends. I ended up riding with like these two little kids and what I think is their brother and it's hilarious because like these little kids are probably eight or nine and they were loving it, screaming their freaking you know, heads off and yeah. kicking, and yet 
you know, I was even scared the first time. I'm like, dang, these Dementors, that would freak me out. And these kids loved it. And it's like instant. You instantly get on the ride, too. We do. And like, we just went upstairs and there we were. We just had to wait until there was like an uneven amount of people. And then they tell you to go. And it was fun. I mean, that, that it's good. Do see your riders if you can. And you don't even have to travel the path of like the queue like everybody else. You immediately walk in the single riders after you put your backpack in their lockers, free lockers by the way. And after you do that, you like turn a corner, go upstairs, and then you're there. You're you're at the ride. And it's a much longer walk. So if you're okay with getting that party split up dang do it because yeah. you are in you are out and it's a lot of fun so definitely recommend single riders for sure for sure We've conquered universal studios basically and being that we rode the harry potter ride twice twice we're doing the train ride again and we did the harry potter ride obviously that was a great success yeah. and uh last time for the tram ride we sat in the first tram first car this time we're sitting in car three so we're pretty much lined up the only thing we probably won't be able to get a good shot of is it's jaws first. Yeah, first. But, first, but we'll get the flash flood and we'll get the earthquake so it's all about this weather storm elements today but yeah universal you've done well So the night has come to an end and we are ending it where it began, Hogwarts Castle. And they have the nighttime show with the projections right on the side of the castle. They do it three times a night and this is going to be the first showing so it should be pretty cool. You might belong in Gryffindor. You might belong in Hufflepuff. But they are just and loyal. Or yet. In wise old Ravenclaw, or perhaps in Slytherin, those cunning folk use any means to achieve their ends. John Roca, not not John Roca, the conductor, and he was amazing yeah. as the conductor as well. Very polite, very kind, um, just so nice. Like that's the thing about Hogwarts and that whole area, Hogsmeade, and just 
It's so well done. Yeah, like that was the part that I always wanted to gravitate towards was the Harry Potter world. Like, and gravitate we did. Yes, but I never wanted to leave. Like they had to grab me by the by my teeth. They're like, my mom and Vanessa, we gotta go. And I was like, no, I don't wanna go. I it's want almost more. like it's almost like when Harry Potter was like, but Hogwarts is my home. <laughs> I was like, damn right, it's my home. It truly is. And I'm so glad we did get to go back and do the single riders. Because honestly, I had a lot of fun. I don't know if I was just tired. It was so early in the morning. No sleep with the editing from D23. And you know what? I really enjoyed it that second time around. I felt like, you know, I experienced it in a whole new way. And I didn't get nauseous or anything like that. So, um, other than that, Universal, it's been such a long time since we've been to Universal. And and, you know, I can't wait to eventually go to Universal in Florida. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I've been there, but they added new stuff to it. So I'm just really excited to go back and actually go to Diagon Alley and try out that stuff. Yep, and then uh, eventually Walt Disney World, Florida. I mean, it's been a, a heck of a weekend. Yes, so, I mean, for me, the two... Uh, all of Hogwarts was a standout for me, but the one ride that I was like really hankering that was outside of the Hogwarts was... Oh, no, we're no. good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the one thing that I was... that I loved was the mummy ride. The mummy ride here was awesome. Like, I don't remember it being like that at the Orlando one, so this one was cool. Like, I did enjoy it very much. It was a ton of fun all over the park. We conquered it fairly fast. Yeah, we did. Uh, and then Travis and Gabby, uh, they did such an amazing job. And then Kendra, Travis's sister, I mean, it was great because, you know, when you have five people, you can rotate out and everyone gets to experience something different each time. Yes. And then having Tim and Ashley with us for D23, I mean, it was definitely a great weekend for the party. And we are so happy you guys joined us the entire time for all these videos, all this yes. content. It was tried and true, you know, the test of the party. Like, are we in it? Are we in it to win it? And you know what? After this weekend and what we've done so far in the last year, the last two years since the party was created, I think so we much. are. It's just been a blessing and I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can like, you can subscribe. And do this. Oh, sorry. She's choked, choked up. up. <laughs> uh, you can do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. And for the last time for a little while from California, Los Angeles, now it's time to, to say goodbye. Bye.